What is this? All the leaves have turned brown. It sort of looks like a drought. Do you think we should land? Whoever lives here probably needs some hey, help. Hey, you guys! Take a look at this! Down there! <gasps> What's that? Whoa! Oh no! I can't see what I'm doing! <laughs> The stone flower. Oh, the moors. I think that's what this was. It's all smashed. It's all ruined. We can't fly with this big hole. We need to fix it. Okay, guys, let's split up. Mila, Yara, and Lily, go find some food and water. Tig and I will work on fixing the ship. <gasps> Leo, Leo, take a look. <gasps> oh. I am Taraval, the 82nd. Uh... <laughs> how's it going? Uh, how's it going? I hereby accuse you. Hmm. Okay. I hereby accuse you of a most terrible crime. <gasps> I know the rest. <laughs> of a most terrible crime. Who more? Take them into custody! But there are so many! In Kubor, Kubor's just one! Would you be so kind as to tell us what the crime is that we committed? Uh, uh, well, uh... uh. I can do it, Dayan. A long time ago, there came an era of a most terrible drought when not a single green leaf was left in the whole of the sacred eucalyptus grove. The entire koala tribe nearly starved, but one very brave koala decided to save them and go in search of water. The road was long and most difficult, and just when she thought that all was lost, a bright spark of light appeared and she saw the scattering of stone flowers. When she broke it off, it began to rain. It watered the desert, and the desert began to bloom once again. Ever since then, the stone flower has been passed down from leader to leader. That's right. Or at least it was, until you decided to destroy my ancestral heritage. And that's exactly why we must punish you, strangers. By the way, Dayan, how exactly should we punish them? Uh, uh. Hold on a sec. I want to go to the scattering of stone flowers. And if they are growing there, I will pick one for you. Then you won't have to punish anyone anymore. Leo, it's too dangerous. You don't even know the way. You'll get lost. No, I won't. Tarval can go with me. Or he can just give me a map. But ugh, I don't know the way. The legend never mentioned that part. And maps? Oh, well, we don't have any maps. Uh, most wise one. Uh, there actually is. A map? But what map? Where is it? Right here. Oh, toot. Oh, toot. Well, well. So I guess we'll just follow the spots and stripes, and when they find the stone flower, we'll steal it from them. <laughs> hey, hey, shh. We're going to steal it. I said shh. Oh, got it. <laughs> Whoa! We haven't seen this before. Uh, in order not to endanger the precious life of Taraval the 82nd, I suggest that you go around. But that's too far. I've got an idea. Leo, maybe we should go around. Okay. Then like this. Tuba, just calm down. Try to stay still. Okay, I get it. I'm bored as well. I have an idea. Let's look for water on our own. Uh, but Kubor, 
Uh, was ordered to guard, uh, not to look. But you can still guard us on the way. Don't worry, we won't run off. Yeah, we won't escape. Don't you think Terrible will be happy with you if we find water? Happy with Kubor? Uh, yes, Kubor really wants that. Huh? It looks... It looks like a... Yes, 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 little one. That is the stone flower. But that's nothing. My Uncle Pernululu the 68th, ruler of the great eucalyptus grove on the ocean, taught me a little nifty trick to handle even the very biggest wave. in the winter. Kubor is smart. Kubor will find water and bring back another eucalyptus. Where did you get the strength to be so ridiculous? Personally, I'm so thirsty. All I can think about is water. I'm just a koala, and koalas never drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. <gasps> Be quiet. Do you hear that? What can that strange noise be? Good job, Kuba. If the stones are wet, that means that water is nearby. It's a really big cave, and it's full of water. But the water looks very deep. Oh, but wait, I thought of something. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's it. It's the stone flower. But how do we get to it? Hey, you guys, I've got an idea. I need your help. Bring me a piece of that magical rock. In my country, in the jungle, there is an abandoned village. I saw something just like this there. That stone flower! Boy, what's up? <laughs> no! Your flower! But now it's ours! <laughs> <laughs> you Give bring that back to us right now! Oh no, now our grove will most definitely dry out. Yay! We did it! Yay! Good job! <laughs> oh, such a shame. <laughs> We've lost everything. <laughs> oh, I'm not worthy of my ancestors. <laughs> Water? Where's that coming from? Oh, what is this miracle? How did you manage to do this? This is your stone flower. <laughs> and a little hard work. <laughs> Good work, girls. <laughs> but how did the map stated, without the stone, the water will not flow? Tig, you mixed it up. The map said the water doesn't flow under the stone. But koalas barely drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. Ah, and don't forget Kubor. He was a very big help. Oh, Kubor? <laughs> oh my goodness. As a reward, I will give you your own <gasps> eucalyptus. Yes. Hey, hey, make some wet rain. Ho, ho, give me water, stone, stone. Stone, stone. <laughs> Something isn't working. Hey, where's the water? <laughs> Maybe you're not doing the dance the right way. I've had enough of this dance already. <laughs> what are you looking at? Well, 
Hmm. I have no choice but to thank you. Dayan, behold our grove's eucalyptus gum. It is the stickiest in the whole wide world. Cuba in love. Cuba! What, you get stuck over there? <laughs> oh, look at that! A piggy! I haven't seen her before. I know her. I do. This is Lada. Her family just recently moved into our forest. <laughs> it looks like our Cuba has, you know, fallen in love. Ah, <laughs> uh, love, love. I can see, my friend, that your heart was touched by a wonderful feeling. Why don't I tell you a love story? Once upon a time, in the taiga, there lived a swan princess, a real beauty. She had three suitors. The first one dove to the bottom of the sea and got her all. Look how well I can dive. I am the very best. Well, the second one flew to the top of the highest mountain and brought from the peak a precious gem. Look how high I can fly, princess. It's me who's the best. Now the third swan started to think, what present should he give to the princess? Well, he flew far and wide in search of a worthy present. He almost gave up. But one day, while flying over a glade, he spotted a snowdrop. He gave the snowdrop to the princess and told her that only the first flower of spring was worthy of her beauty. And the princess made her choice. She gave her love to the third swan. Because unlike the other two, he was thinking about her and not himself. Eh? So what? I don't get it. Cuba's got to give the girl a snowdrop, then? It's not snowdrop season. It's not about snowdrops. <sighs> Don't be shy. All you have to do is go to your beloved and do something from the heart. <coughs> Legends are great, of course, uh, but you're, you know, no swan. You can't go meet her like that. I bet she won't even talk to you. Cuba, you're covered in mud from hooves to tail. Don't despair, Cuba. We can help you. I can't turn you into a swan, but a very handsome boar you could be, okay? That I can promise you. Whee! Whee! Cuba, hang on. Beauty always has a price. There you go, Cuba. Now you're the most handsome boar in the woods. Whee! Wait! 
We still aren't finished yet. Cuba, you're clean all right, but you're still... a little bit plain. You know? Don't you worry, buddy. Cause we're gonna dress you up. <laughs> better now. As good as a swan. <laughs> Remember, you, sir, are the fanciest boar in all of the taiga. Now go! <laughs> Cuba. Girls don't know anything about being beautiful. What if she's just not attracted to flashy looks? Right. How should we, I mean Cuba, try to win her over then? He should try to do something impressive. Heroic even. A feat. That's it. Cuba, how do you feel about fighting a wolf? <laughs> how about crossing the rapids? Or would you <sighs> jump across a huge gorge? <sighs> it won't work, Leo. Cuba is afraid of everything. That's fine. I've got an idea for you. I told you this wasn't going to work. Cuba. Who cares? She's just some girl. She is bound to like you, you know. You are so, so. <laughs> Uh, 
The next time, you won't get away from me. Phew. Looks like we're too late. I don't get it. So what? Did Cuba chase the wolf away? You would have chickened out, I bet. What? No way. <laughs> A wise man once said, be yourself and you'll find someone's heart will open to you. <laughs> Tiger Patrol. Know what I was thinking, Leo? Ah, how our dear Tyga is so vast and beautiful. Right you are, Tig. I've been wondering. There must be other countries. Of course there are, kids. Mapa Pandiga, can you tell us something about other countries? Oh, that's very interesting. Just for an example, there's a place where it never ever snows. <laughs> Yeah, right. Next thing you know, you'll be telling us that striped deer live there, too. <laughs> Do they ever? But there aren't deer. The horses! Listen here now. That land is called Africa. It's full of wondrous animals. A giant with a leg instead of a nose. A toothy lizard the size of a huge log. A beast with a neck so long that it can eat the leaves off the top of a tree. And although they look different, they are similar to us. Just like us, they are friends with each other. And they too love their land. Sometimes they get into trouble. And so, I've heard that for times like that, they have a special team of heroes in Africa. They're called the Guardians. Should any animal need help, they come to the rescue. They are always ready to help. These Guardians are known around the world. Wow, it must be great to be a Guardian. I wish I were in that, what do you call it, Africa? I would love to be a guardian. Tig, we don't need Africa. Let's make a team of our own, right here, in the taiga. Wow, Leo, that's a really cool idea. Leo and Tig, guardians of the taiga. No, Tig, the guardians is taken. We have to call ourselves something else. Something for the taiga. Well, how about the taiga patrol? Ha! Awesome! The Tiger Patrol comes to the rescue! Ah, <laughs> I just can't! Spots and stripes down there! <laughs> the Tiger Patrol! <laughs> That's hilarious! <laughs> Enough! Just... just go away! No, 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 no! You'll fail anyways! You'll make fools of yourselves! <laughs> That's right, you'll fail! <laughs> Leo, so who are we gonna help first, huh? <laughs> Here you go, Mila. Oh, hi there, boys. Thank you so much. We're not boys, Mila. We're the Taiga Patrol, and you can let everyone know. Come on, Tig. Let's go see if someone else needs our help. Children. We are the Tiger Patrol. Look at them, huh? Soon everyone will be talking about these do-gooders. Let's just, let's just throw cones at them, huh? No way. I've got an even better idea. 
Come on, come on, laugh! Good! Hello, Beaver Bro! Do you need any help on your Beaver River? Nah, no need, thank you. We can manage just fine. Goodbye. All right, Tiger Patrol. If we're not needed here, let's just go. You're the Tiger Patrol? Well, now, that changes everything. Put that log over there for me, please. <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> hey! Sound the alarm! Yeah, we've got a leak! Oh, my dear. How unfortunate. <laughs> Get lost, you! Get out! You're a plague, not a patrol! Uh, so you're the Tiger Patrol? Sure! Who else? I am so glad that you're here. Some wasps built a nest on our tree. Now we're afraid to go back to our hollow. Help us, please. Ha! Piece of cake! We'll move it for you, no problem! Tiger Patrol now? Nothing better than knowing the whole tiger respects you. Here, here, here. And, and like that. Here. We'll help you, and we'll deliver it right to your burrow. <laughs> we are the Tiger Patrol. Ah! Ah! Help us! Ah! Help us! Ah! What's wrong? Ah! We just want to help you. Did we even help those squirrels? Tig, I think I know who's behind this. Uh, Spike, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Setting a trap. Spots and stripes will be passing here soon. And I've got a surprise for them. <laughs> Spike, Spike, quiet. <laughs> I really set them up, eh? Now the name Tiger Patrol makes everyone run scared. <laughs> I knew it. You're just up to your old tricks again. And you are going to pay for this, you imposters. Ha! <laughs> I bet you can't catch us. <laughs> 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 We've got to lead them to the trap. <laughs> hey, Spotty Patrol! <laughs> You're gonna be banished from the tiger for good! That's it! You're gonna get it for good! <laughs> 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 you got caught in your own trap. <laughs> hey, patrol, are you there? Please help us. Pretty please. Oh, please. No way. <laughs> Stay there and think about what you've done. Hey, you can't leave. Don't go. Please come back. Oh, Mappa, nice to see you. We are the Tiger Patrol. <laughs> Heroes. Can you tell us where we can go to help somebody? I don't know, kids. Ah, maybe the spirit of the tiger will tell. He knows this forest well. How can he tell? <laughs> he doesn't even talk. Of course he talks to you. With signs, you just need to learn to see them. Someone out there needs us. Thank you, Mappa Pandiga. Tiger Patrol, to the rescue. Patrol, please, any patrol. Just get us out of here. <sighs> Who needs help here? Oh, I can't see you. We're, We're here. here. Help, help us. us. Quiet down, will you? We won't be able to hear. If anyone needs help... They are the ones who need saving. Who do? The Martins? 
But they're the ones who built this trap to capture us. And now we're supposed to just save them? Yeah, we want to do good deeds. And they just hurt everybody. Leaving someone in trouble. Ah, that's not a good deed. No, that's not what heroes huh? should do. Spike, why did you get in the way of Leo and Tig? Because everyone's talking and talking about them. Yes, that they're so kind. Yeah, so nice. We want praise. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Leo, Tig, why don't you put Spike and his brothers on your patrol? Mm, well, I don't know. Please take us on, and we'll be sure to behave. We, we promise. promise. All right, fine. You can join. <laughs> but only so we can keep an eye on them. Well done, children. All righty then, Tiger Patrol. Let's do it! Good deeds can't just go and do themselves. <laughs> That's what the spirit of the tiger says. to collect here. Why do you need so many, Martique? Well, it's for an important task. <sighs> Follow me, I'll show you. That's where our cedar pine grew. It burnt down. The spruce was here. Also burnt down. Yeah. The red deer spared no one. <laughs> and this is my home tree. Well, it was. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old cedar, raise your voice. Quiet branches, don't be loud. Mark to is sleeping sound. Little squirrel, now you sleep tight. Close your pretty little eyes.
That's the lullaby that our tree sang to me. This tree sang it? <laughs> it's true. I heard it in the rustle of the leaves. Martique, what do you need the pine cones for? What do you mean? For the seeds. I'll collect a big pile of them. Then I'll plant them, and our forest will grow big again. Then you should have said so. And you really shouldn't be making up singing trees. Cube, go on then. Get digging. We're planting a forest. Tig, wait. Do you know how long it will take them to grow? A century. There must be some faster way to do it. No, children, I don't know of a faster way. But I do know one legend. That was a long time ago. The tiger was visited by an enormous red deer and set the whole forest ablaze. The fire was so strong that even the spirit of the tiger himself got scared. The spirit hid in the last cone on the very top of the tallest cedar tree. The cedar started reaching for the sky to save the spirit of the tiger. The red deer couldn't reach the cone and he retreated. The cedar opened the cone its seeds were scattered, and wherever they hit the ground, a forest started to grow really fast. Because that cone had the magic power of the spirit of the tiger. Since then, the cedar has been here. They call it the Great Cedar, because it saved the tiger. That's the story, kids. Wow, Mappa Pandiga, I thought it was called great because it was really big. But as it turns out, it saved all of the taiga. Hmm. We must find a way to get to the highest cone. What if it's a magic one? Let's just plant regular seeds here. Tig is scared. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not scared. Tig, come on. We'll climb it somehow. That's what we have claws for. Huh? It might get windy. Uh, what we should do is get the cone by throwing a stone. Hey, guys, up there, look! <laughs> Not far now. <laughs> it's magic! Hooray! 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 <laughs> 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 What do we do next, Leo? We'll scatter the seeds around from the top of the very tallest tree, like in the legend. That way, the seeds will be spread far and wide. The tallest tree here is my home tree. <laughs> ah! It's a monster! Uh -huh. Run! Uh -huh. Look out! Martique, why didn't you warn us about such a, such a... Uh, because it wasn't uh, there. It must have appeared because of the fire. Did you see how black it was? I did. That's because he must be an ash monster. And he's here because he doesn't want us to plant the magic cone's magic seeds. What do we do? Make it leave. Take that and, and that and no. there. Against such a big, strong monster, we don't stand a chance. But I've got a plan. Listen. Hey, monster! Look what I've got. It's a magic pine cone. If you want it, come and get it! Magic. <laughs> and the magic cone goes to Martique. Martique, go on. <sighs> it's too high. Martique, be careful. <gasps> Flying on a wing, I 
pretty woods. It is full of magic goods. It's all true. It's a singing tree. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> we did it, Home Tree. <laughs> the forest is alive again already. Yup, a miracle. <laughs> For all miracles are done by the power of love. And if you have a magical pine cone, that also helps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already fed up with this snow. Tig, it suits you. Spring is over, and it's still freezing. Uh huh. I really miss all that sunshine, too. <laughs> And I miss the flowers. Come out, Sunshine. Where did you go? <laughs> I'm sure it will come out just for you. There once was someone in the taiga who the sun listened to. <gasps> really? <gasps> How exciting! Tell us more, Mappa. Come along with me, kids. The Sun Folk. Wow. <laughs> Look at that! Awesome! Mappa, <laughs> who are they? This is the Sun Folk. What kind of folk? Sun Folk. These animals lived in the taiga a long time ago. It is said that they descended from the sun itself. In cold times, when the sun used to stop giving warmth to the earth, they used to send the chosen one, the strongest and fastest one in their tribe, to talk to the forefather and ask him to turn up the heat. And the sun listened to him. But Mapa Pandiga, how did they talk to the sun? It's so high up. There is a valley of geysers behind the Quick River and the Big Swamp. And in the valley lies the magical sunstone. They used it to communicate. Mappa, where are these sun folks right now? Nobody knows. Some say they left these parts a long time ago. But others believe that the sun folk is still among us. They just forgot about where they came from. There, look! To me, this chosen one looks like Leo, don't you think? <laughs> You're right! <laughs> he does! <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids. Let's get going. It's getting chilly. Whee! <laughs> Leo! Leo, stop sitting around. Come play tag with us. Tig, I still can't get the Sun Folk story out of my head. <laughs> Try to think on the run. It will warm you up a lot. Just listen for a sec. What if I, I mean, leopards are the Sun Folk? And I'm the Chosen One. You, the Chosen One? Why not? You said yourself that the one from the picture looks a lot like me. Well, he does. It means I have to go to the Valley of the Geysers and look for the Sunstone. Leo, it's very dangerous to go to the Valley. <laughs> Guys, come on, try to understand. If I am the Chosen One, I have to talk to the Sun. Otherwise, summer will never come. Whether you're the Chosen One or not, this much, I know. We're not going to let you go alone. Yeah, Tig is right. We'll go with you. No way. I'm not gonna go in that water. Let me think. 
I'll come up with something. A raft? Wow, Cuba. You're a genius. Leo, what are you doing? Hop on the raft. You forget, Tig. I'm the chosen one. I have to find the sunstone by myself. I got this, guys. <laughs> we finally made it to the big swamp. I'm sure that this whole swamp is already frozen or something. Whoa! Maybe not. Leo, where are you going? I'm jumping over it. Leo, that's crazy. Come with us. It is safer together. Don't be afraid, guys. I'm the chosen one. I totally got this. Whew. If this so-called sunstone does not exist, you're giving me a piggy ride back. <laughs> uh. Uh. <Mommy>. Leo, <gasps> you might want to be careful. Uh. It's okay. I can do this. Uh. I am the chosen one. It's okay when you use teamwork and avoid taking unnecessary risks. Uh. Uh. Oh, Leo, uh. are you coming? Yeah. You guys taking a nap? Let's go. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now Leo will crawl up to his hunk of rock, say hello to the sun, and then we can go home. Hey, guys, what about the geysers? What about the geyser schmeisers? They won't stop us. <laughs> Mama didn't say that they were hot. The Sunstone! Found it! Leo, wait for us! Ow! They're singeing my fur off! Leo, watch out! Jara, I'm the chosen one. I'll come up with something. Leo, you tried hard, but you see, there's no way to get through. Let's forget about the stone. Let's go home, okay? Uh, guys, you go. I'll catch up later. Chosen one. I got this. I can do this. I'm sorry, Leo, but it seems even the chosen one can't do it by himself. But together, we got this. Come on, push! <laughs> 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 Do it! Leo, do it quickly. Ask the sun for some warmth. No, we should do it together. One, two, three! 
Hello! Excuse, Excuse me, son. son! More heat! Pretty please! Be a pal, would you? Together, we just asked it nicely, and the sunshine came out. By the time we came back, everything already bloomed. Nicely done. It has indeed become much warmer. It was Leo's idea. <laughs> he suggested we go to the Sunstone. Thank you, friends. Without your help, I just couldn't have done it myself. Ah, kids. As they say, the one without friends is like a tree without roots. And always remember this. Two heads are better than one. Bad luck. Again. I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> look, look. Cuba found Spike again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Spike can't hide to save his life. What? <laughs> what do you mean can't hide? Well, I'll show you how to hide. That means you too, little piggy. <laughs> it's a black frog. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you know? Running into a black frog is bad luck. Bad luck, I'm telling you. <laughs> a black frog! Stop! Stop! Don't move! <gasps> back! Back, I said! Uh, back! Uh, run away! Run away! Oh, big deal. A black frog. So what? It's just a superstition. We don't believe in such things. Okay, we gotta go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look. Isn't she a darling? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You guys know nothing about being fabulous. Cuba? Are you all right? Leo, what if this thing is actually for real? <laughs> What are you talking about? A black frog hopped on Cuba, and Spike said that this is bad luck for him. A black frog? Hmm. Huh. Actually, there is a story I heard before. It's of the spooky swamp monster. In the dark and gloomy forest, in a spooky, noxious swamp, there once dwelled the evil, wicked swamp monster. <laughs> and 
it was bringing nothing but misery to every creature in the forest. So the kind spirit of the taiga chose to punish the swamp monster. And he turned it into an eerie black frog. But even as a frog, the inhabitants of the forest could not rest, for the swamp monster continued his reign of terror, bringing bad luck to all who crossed his path. So it means Cuba is going to be... Don't get yourselves worked up. They say that the curse only works for just one day. If nothing happens to Cuba overnight, then you don't have to worry about a thing. See? Relax. Nothing will happen to him. Together, we'll protect him. Keep your eyes peeled. I will, Leo. By the way, I just remembered one more sign of bad luck. Cuba, spit it out! What if they're last year's? Everyone knows this fact. The one who eats last year's acorn will have an oak tree grow out of his head. I heard this from Magpie. So, Cuba, you better play it safe. You'll eat tomorrow. Cuba! Cuba! Cuba, you can't roll in the mud! Did you know that there are evil spirits there? That's it. They must be hiding in there for sure. <laughs> Cuba, be careful! There could be snakes in the grass! Don't be scared, Cuba! We got you! We won't let anything bad happen to you! Look, Cuba! The sun is setting! Tomorrow the bad luck will wear off for sure! We just have to survive the night is all. Yeah, and I know a safe place right around here. Bravo, Tig! You found us a pretty good cave. Nothing bad is going to happen to Cuba here. You got that right. Did you hear the story about the cave monster? Nope, Tig. He's somewhere around here. curse must be real. He's doomed to sit in this pit till the end of time, huh? Tig, we need to ask Mappa Pandiga for help. 
All right. The black frog, you say? Well, yes. It brings bad luck. Please tell me how a small, tiny little frog could have driven Cuba into a pit. Well, it wasn't the frog. He did it himself. He got scared to death and... Well, who scared him that much then? Yes, uh, who indeed? Why are you looking at me like that? Tig? I think all our stories may have scared the living hooves out of Cuba. Oh. Oh, oh. Kids, with your good intentions, you trampled a path for your friend right to a pit. You know what? Because of all these bad luck signs, even I started to get spooked. We're sorry, Cuba. How about some hide and seek? <laughs> That's bad luck for sure. Tig! I hope those aren't last year's acorns. Tig! Aw, oh, come on! I'm just kidding! <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.